Laboratory safety. Objectives. Describe your lab bench. Identify various safety equipment found in the laboratory. Describe safe laboratory practices. Identify the hazards and safety symbols found on chemical labels. And finally, describe how to react to dangerous laboratory situations. For lab bench, the lab bench is made up of gas outlets, electrical supply, there are electrical outlets located around your desk, water from the water faucets, both hot and cold, and a sink. Laboratory safety equipment, a chemical safety shower, eye wash station, a fire blanket, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, goggles, lab coats and aprons, a fume hood, a neutralization station for chemical spills, and finally, emergency exits. Safe laboratory practices. No eating or drinking is permitted during laboratory activities. There are no exception to this rule. You must wear goggles during all laboratory activities and demonstrations. You must report to your instructor any unsafe laboratory practice immediately. Always add acid to water, never water to acid, while preparing a solution. Point containers away from yourself and others while heating or mixing chemicals. Never reach over flames, bottles, or hot equipment. Never place your nose directly over any chemical in order to smell it. Instead, use your hands to gently waft the vapor towards your nose. Note, you should never smell anything in the chemistry laboratory unless your teacher specifically instructs you to. Keep work area clear of clutter. Dispose of waste according to your instructor's directions. And finally, wash your hands when you leave the lab. These are some of the safe laboratory practices you should conduct yourself by whenever you're in the laboratory. Dressing for the lab. Goggles must be worn anytime chemicals, heat, or glassware are used. Long hair, dangling jewelry, and looser baggy clothing are hazardous. Long hair must be tied back while dangling jewelry and loose or baggy clothing must be secured. Shoes must completely cover the foot. No sandals allowed. Lab coats and aprons are provided for your use and should be worn during all laboratory activities. GHS hazard symbols. Flammable. Corrosive. Explosive, toxic, oxidizer, irritant, compressed gas, and health hazard. These are some of the GHS hazard symbols you should be familiar with. The National Fire Protection Hazard Identification System are made up of four diamonds in one large diamond. The blue will represent health, the red is fire, the yellow reactivity, and the white special hazard. And these special hazards are acid, alkali, corrosive, oxidizer, radioactive, and use no water. Now, in the blue, red, and yellow, there are usually numbers represented. These numbers are 0 through 4. The higher you go, the more dangerous the chemical is, where 1 is normal and 5 could be deadly for the health hazard. You do not know, need to know the specific hazards for each category. Just understand that 1 is less dangerous and 4 is highly dangerous. However, you must know all the special hazard symbols for the acid, the alkali, corrosive, oxidizer, radioactive, 
and use no water. Laboratory safety scenarios. Chemical splashes. If a chemical splashes in your eye or eyes or on your skin, immediately flush with running water from the eye wash station or safety shower for at least 15 minutes. You must notify your instructor immediately. For small chemical spills, if acid is spilled on the desk or on the floor, you can neutralize it using baking soda from the neutralization station. Or if a base is spilled, you can neutralize it using citric acid from the neutralizing station. You must notify your instructor immediately. Laboratory safety scenarios, fire. In case of laboratory fire, you must notify your instructor immediately. If a person catches on fire, encourage them to stop, drop, and roll to extinguish their clothes. You may use the fire blanket to put out their fire. However, do not wrap a fire blanket around the student if they are standing up, since this may create a chimney effect and burn their face. You must notify your instructor immediately. In case of the fire alarm goes off or there is a fire drill, all containers must be closed, gas valves must be turned off, and finally any electrical equipment must be turned off, including the fume hood.